Hey everybody, Pastor Nick here with this week's devotional and update. This is just a thing we do every week to check in and kind of give, give you guys up to speed on some things coming up in our church, some things we have on the horizon as well as things going on this week. And um, I want to give you also a word from the Bible, a word from the Lord, okay? So here we go. Um, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1, it says this, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Here's what I want to just share with you guys. Just this idea of being imitators of God. What does it mean to be an imitator of someone? It means that you copy them. They say the greatest um, flattery that you can give someone is to imitate them, right? So the greatest flattery that you can give someone is to imitate them. So he says, therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children. He tells us about our identity. This is who you are. You are beloved children. Therefore, Try to be like your dad. Imitate your dad. Be like him. As he has loved you, love in the same way. One of the things we talked about this past Sunday is how one of the word pictures the Bible uses for what it means to have a relationship with God is it means to walk with God, to take his hand and walk with him. So as you're walking with your father, as you're taking his hand, imitate him. Be like him. Share his heart. Share his heart for people. And that's why it says, verse 2, and walk in love as Christ loved you and gave himself up for you. I love what Paul does here. He's bringing us back to the gospel. Everything he does, notice this, Paul never gives us uh, a command or an instruction, he never says do this without saying here's why and here's how. Here's why and here's how. And the why and the how are always Jesus, what he did for you, how much he loves you, how he redeemed you. That's the why, it's also the how by his strength. It's not just, uh, you know, pick yourself up, try harder, do better. No, it's this is what he did for you. Take his hand, walk with him. As you do, you will become like him. And also put in the effort, right? Imitate him, seek to be like him. Just as he's loved you, you've experienced the goodness of that. Now live that out in relationship with other people. And he loved us, he gave himself for us. Uh, that's what it means to be an imitator of God. One who walks in love, one who gives yourself and loves others with a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God, living that out towards God and living it out and all of its implications for other people. So that's my word for today, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Be imitators of God as beloved children and walk in love as Christ loved us. All right? Hey, today's video will be quick. I've got a few announcements for you. The number one announcement I want you to remember and know about is this. These cards, okay, this is a community group sign-up card. We're going to be taking community group sign-ups starting this Sunday at Whitefields. One of the things we always tell you guys is that what it means to be part of our church, if you are part of our church, we want you to do two things. Everybody who's part of our church, we want you to do two things. Join a group and join a team. Joining a group means joining a community group, a Bible study group, getting involved beyond Sunday morning. Joining a team means uh, joining a ministry team, a service team, where you get to serve the local body, you get to serve through the body out in the community, you get to serve other people. Uh, remember, we, we follow the one who called himself the greatest servant, and so we wanna be like him and serve each other, and we find that that's what leads us to joy. Jesus gave us his mission so we can have his joy. So join a group, join a team. So here's how we're going to do groups. Just in a couple of weeks, September 13th, I believe, we're starting our next semester of community groups. And so some of those groups are going to be online. There will be a few that also meet in person as well. So we want you guys to know about that. And here's how you can get signed up for a group, both an online group or an in-person group. Um, you're going to fill out this card. Here's what it's going to look like on Sunday morning. You're going to walk in. You're going to be handed one of these cards uh, during announcements or whatever's going on. Fill out this card. It just gives some information, right? Like days you're available, if you have children, eight demographics for what kind of group you're looking for, location if you want to find a group near you. And actually, we're going to do the hard work of helping to organize, okay, who's in which areas and which groups and how are we going to do that. Okay, so here's all you need to do on Sunday. You come, you get one of these cards, you fill it out, and you just leave it on your chair. 
and we'll take care of the rest, okay? We'll get in touch and everything like that. This is a great way for you to get involved in a Bible study group, you know, at a time that works for you. And, you know, if it's not in person, it's going to be online. And that'll be the majority of them will be online. If you're like, hey, I really need some, you know, socially distanced and, and responsible but in-person community, we're going to have opportunities for that as well. Okay, so this Sunday, signing up for community groups. Also, I want you guys to know we're, we're going to be taking sign-ups for women's ministry. Women's ministry is going to be taking uh, sign-ups for the third week. They're starting uh, in just the end of this month with both the morning group and the evening group. It's a great way to get involved with the women's ministry. Make sure um, to sign up for that. If you haven't, that'll also be this Sunday. Our youth are going on a one-day retreat up to Ravencrest Chalet Bible College and Retreat Center, which is in Estes Park. It's on Pole Hill Road, so it's kind of like if you're going to Estes from Longmont, it's um, right at the top of the hill, right before you descend the hill into the city of Estes Park. So um, they're going to be going up there for a one-day retreat. There'll be times of worship. There's going to be like a, a ropes course they're doing, kind of outdoorsy fun stuff. It's going to be really great. We have 20 kids going. Make sure you pray for those kids. And if you say, what? I didn't even know there was a retreat going on, and I have a kid, and they would, this would be awesome for them, let us know immediately, and we'll see what we can do, okay? The other uh, thing I want you to know about, the Bible Learning Center is starting its next semester in September as well. And uh, really cool developments going on with that. Things are going great. So we want you to know about that and kind of just have it on your mind that that is coming up in the near future. We're gonna be doing Bible Learning Center uh, classes going soon. That'll be fun because this is our first time doing those classes here in our building with dedicated classrooms. It's gonna be really cool. All right, guys, have a great week. We'll see you on Sunday. Looking forward to studying with you. We're gonna be looking at the end of the life of King Ahab in 1 Kings chapters 20 through 22, but really focusing in on a section in chapter 21 where something really surprising happens and you're not going to want to miss it. it. It definitely relates to our lives and where we're at today. And so hope to see you on Sunday, both in person and online, 9 and 11 a.m. God bless you guys. See you soon.